Okay, let's jump in with a very simplified introduction to market profile. Really what we want to do is get an understanding of how to trade off it. So I'm not going to go into a really academic overview or scientific or overly uh, uh, complicated analysis of how market profile is de devised, what the history of it is, uh, and all of these things. We're just going to start right in with uh, a look at a chart of the recent trading up until the present. Uh, today is uh, actually the 19th of July. This is Friday's trading. And uh, we are going to start, let's just start looking uh, at the June contract, which began on uh, uh, the 11th. And uh, we'll look at how beneficial market profile can be in terms of setting up our understanding of each day of trading based on where the most activity was the day before in terms of volume or uh, time and price opportunities. They're called TPOs. So those are two ways that we can evaluate where the most activity in trading is during the day. And to simplify the theory, the big traders, the most amount of money enter and exit at certain points in the market and those are going to be significant support and resistance uh, points in the future. So whatever happened yesterday where the big money, let's say they all sold up here, and now in hindsight that looks pretty obvious. Uh, that's why the market went down. Uh, the people with the most control of the market had no interest in buying it anymore. They sold and the market went down. So that's also an oversimplification of supply and demand. What we understand with market profile is a market will reach a certain point where it will no longer uh, support continued uh, involvement in that direction. And so the participants uh, recognize that and they turn uh, their attention to trading favoring the opposite direction. At a low, uh, we could say that now there was sufficient demand down here to meet with whatever supply was becoming available at that point, so they bought it, and then the market turned and went up. So the process repeats itself constantly uh, through the days and weeks and months, and also intraday. Now, since we're talking about day trading here, we're going to take a look at it uh, in terms of how we can use that each day for setting up our trades. We're looking at a Dow Mini contract, the September 2009 E-Mini Dow contract. And these are 15-minute bars. And what you see here are the levels that we plot based on market profile analysis. It's a, a very easily available indicator. Uh, which uh, gives us information on uh, the what is called the value area high, the value area low, and the point of control. Value area low based on a 70% uh, uh, portion of the previous day's volume would be uh, expected to represent those support and resistance levels the next day. Now, that's, that is an oversimplification, but let's just take, take it uh, after that little bit of theory and look how we would apply it here on June 12th. Okay, as we look at the chart blown up, here's the activity of June 12th, and let's see where we're getting our background information to take advantage of the, of the principles of market profile trading. Now, we get our levels each day based on the volume and or the time and price opportunities of where the most trading occurred on the prior day. And what that tells us is these are places where there was the most commitment, uh, people with the biggest amount of money or simply the most amount of money being traded that day uh, was at these levels. 70% of it was between this value area high, this value area low it's called, and this point of control. The point of control is the level at which the maximum value, if you're using the uh, value profile, or the maximum 
uh, time price opportunities. The most actual trades went off there. So whichever one you use, they both have their, their usage, and we can talk about that later. But for now, we just know we have levels. To keep it simple, we can trade off these levels. You don't have to know much, and you don't have to have much theoretical understanding of market profile to use this knowledge. You simply plot the levels and then you you learn how to trade off of them now the the early the prior day we saw that the market opened and very quickly uh, 15 minutes in and then the first half hour the market broke above the value area from the previous day where these levels were established so the market immediately told us price action told us that the participants on this day were ready to attempt to extend the range from the prior value area they were they were seeking higher higher value in the market higher highs in other words in this case you see that the market broke out strongly above the value area high in the first half hour and then price came back and tested and where did it stop just above the value area high tempted to go up again but the participants weren't weren't ready to commit and uh, by around this time, 11.15 Central Time, so almost three hours after the open on this bar. This is the 11.30 bar, so three hours after the open, almost a double bottom. No ability to penetrate back into the value area after a, a good solid test from uh, 10.15 to 11.30, more than an hour, or if you consider this bar, an hour and a half of threatening to re-enter the value area but holding strong so now it's clear to the participants whether you know, whether they know anything about market profile or not everybody uh, gets a sentiment that uh, the market wants to go higher so they want to get on board so the market does go higher so up here now uh, when traders came back from the lunch hour 12:30 central time uh, the market was uh, almost uh, was making new highs around that time, and shortly thereafter, though, it was rejected. Uh, that's another profile term. We say that there was a rejection of the attempt to continue extending the market. There were no new initiating buyers up here. There were there was an amount of supply that was greater than the demand at that point so there was no more demand and the, everybody wanted to sell and then everybody wanted to get on board and uh, take advantage of the selling opportunity and nobody was willing to step in front of it so there was no more demand in this area and so the market kept falling and went right down into the close so what we have here is a a rejection of the attempt to extend the range. Now we could say that big money has clearly determined that there was no value up here and uh, they're, they're going to place their bets on the short side or they're going to take profits or however uh, whatever their positions were they're now on the side uh, the bearish side of the market. So this